So hello everyone and welcome back down to the plot. It's been a really long time since I've been here um, and I appreciate it. it's been a really long time since my last video. Um, my last video, you might remember, I was feeling a bit unwell and I was off work. Um, since then, I've managed to get back to work for a couple of weeks, um, but I've been largely off sick since then. Um, I've been struggling with breathing and stuff like that, so that's why I've not been up here for a while. So I what I do today is do a plot tour, see where we're at to start with, um, and see what work needs to be done. And hopefully this time, uh, now that I don't have uni work to do, I can spend a lot more time down here um, getting the plot to where I want it to be. So let's go and have a look. So as always, we'll start on my first plot, plot 89. Um, as we can see, those daffodils that I planted a few years ago that had always come up blind, have uh, actually started coming up with flowers this year. Got a few that side. Um, Generally the beds are looking fairly bare. Um, hopefully it shouldn't be too difficult to clear these ones. And we can see we've got some of the rhubarb coming up over this side. Not loads, but we'll have to wait and see how that does. Generally the grass doesn't grow too much, um, so it doesn't quite need its trim yet. And the beds here, unfortunately, are starting to come apart. Um, these were a cheap fix a few years ago. So I think this year I'll be looking at uh, replacing these and making it a bit easier to cut the grass in between. Uh, I'm not sure whether I'm gonna do this with just wood as I have done this time, or I'm gonna use pallet collars to go in there. I haven't decided yet. Over in the hair bed, rosemary's doing really, really well. Um, you can't quite see them very easily. There's other rosemary plants growing in between all the grass as well. These smaller ones were planted a year or two later, but hopefully they'll go uh, get a lot bigger this year. Thyme bush is doing really, really well. I just need to clear around it so we can get to it a bit easier. Uh, one thing you might have noticed is the veg pod. It used to be up in the little decking area. It used to have a lid as well. Um, so yesterday was my first day down here since uh, the storms um, and the lid had completely gone. But to be honest, I'm in two minds about whether I get a new lid for this or not. I've always found that actually it makes it far too hot in the, the sort of the bed um, and you end up with stuff drying out. So I'm thinking I'm going to try it this year without a lid. If I decide that it really needs the lid, then I'll get another one for next year. But I'm just going to try it out like this at the moment. Obviously the good thing about this one is because it's got the water tanks, it should keep everything well watered, uh, even through the summer. But we'll just have to wait and see. The fruit trees, still here. Got lots of buds coming up on all of these. What I'm really impressed by is this one. I can't remember what it was. I'll have to wait and see. I'll have to look back through my previous videos and find out what I've planted there. Wildlife area, um, there's not a lot of flowers and stuff going on here at the moment, just a lot of grasses. Um, we did have lots of gladioli bulbs that came up here, um, they've obviously all died back over the winter. And this plant here has really taken off, this was a 50p uh, plant from a reduced section somewhere. Um, it comes up with lots of purple flowers if I remember rightly, uh, but that's doing really well. Um, I need to give the pond a bit of a clean out as well. new addition that I put up yesterday is this. This has gone onto the decking area that used to have the veg pod. The idea for this is this is going to replace the original tea bunker. So the tea bunker I found, um, because I built it, it wasn't you know, necessarily watertight. And being out of the allotment, it gets quite damp quite easily. And once you get damp inside, it doesn't escape. So what I've done is splashed out, bought one of these extra large wheelie bin stores, which is going to be just enough for me to sit at one end if I need to and I will move the uh, stove to the other end. Uh, obviously not a full size shed but we're not allowed full size sheds down here so this is the best I can do but it means if it starts tipping it down with rain I've got somewhere to go. No further along where the pallet pile used to be that I cleared off at some point last year covered in uh, cardboard looks still fairly clear. Um, obviously I still need to go through this dig it over um, and actually use this for planting this year and a few repairs needed to the compost bins um, 
I ideally want to start getting rid of all the rubbish that's accumulated in that one. And up here we've got a tea bunker. Now what I think I will do with this tea bunker is take it down. It's damp. I don't want to store things in there necessarily. Um, and equally I don't want somewhere for mice and rats to hide away. So I will be moving this at some point, re removing it and I will reuse the wood um, and I'll use that to make beds and other such things. And then we've got all of our pallets for our projects this year. And that is that for this plot. Right, so here we are. We are back at the second plot for the first time in a long time. Um, I've not had a proper look down here yet. So what you're seeing is the first time I'm seeing it as well. So I'm quite surprised looking up there. The grass looks like it's quite well under control. I obviously cut it at a decent time uh, before I kind of stop coming up here. A um, bit overgrown down here, but that's to be expected. These will all need a bit of a clear out um, to get them usable again. Uh, black currants along here look like they've got some buds coming up on them so hopefully we might get some black currants this year we've definitely got some new growth on them uh, still along here lots of uh, grass to get on top of i really need to look at sourcing some wood chips for this area as well it was all set up when we had good access to wood chips at the site but that's since stopped so it's kind of left me in a uh, sort of a sticky situation really Moving up a bit more. Um, this has obviously been blown over during the storms. I have no idea where that's from, but I'm sure someone will come and claim it. Now, I had covered this bed up, um, obviously during the wind, stuff blown away. This pile of rubbish is still here. That needs a sorting through, um, but I want to start getting stuff in the ground first before I spend time doing that. Uh, up here is the raspberry bed. Uh, there's a bit of growth on a couple of the plants but you might remember these are the ones that were from Thompson Morgan that I was having issues with um, we'll see how they go this year if I don't get any raspberries out of these then they'll be going and I'll be getting some new ones this is the second or third lot from Thompson Morgan um, none of which have done well there is a bit of growth on some of them but we'll wait and see so again pile of canes and stuff this is all left here from the previous plot owners um again something to sort through when i get a chance but getting stuff planted is kind of more of a priority uh trees looks like we've got some buds coming up on these already uh same on the apple lots of buds coming up i do really need to look at trying to separate these two trees i really don't know why there was two trees planted so closely together but that'll be something for a bit later on as well uh, up here we've got the flowering current uh, we can see some pink appearing on there already uh, these were the red currant bushes that seem to do really really well um, I wasn't really down here to take anything off of them this year, um, but they're starting to grow again, ready for this year. Um, and then over here, we've got these two beds. Um, again, this is something that I had covered over. Uh, we can actually still see some of the pins that were in the ground, but those have obviously been blown away as well. Um, but no worries, I will kind of dig over this and get some stuff in here as well. So there we go. That is it for the tour of both plots. As you can see, they're both a bit of a mess. I've not been down there for a very long time. Um, so it's now getting sorted for this year. I had hoped to get it all done over the last few months, but it's been wet and I've been off sick for a lot of it. So I've not had a chance, but a bit of catch up. But as long as I kind of work hard at it we should have a nice looking plot with lots of produce and as i'm not as busy as i was last year i've got a bit more time so let's uh, see what we can get done over this year so that's it for today so thank you for watching take care happy allotment Tim.